dandelions and my favorite flowers in the sunshine or during a shower. Dandelion, they be popping up everywhere. <laughs> But they don't care. Dandelions, they never take a vacation. They always popping up without invitation. Dandelions, there's always enough to share. <laughs> Well, I went to the store where the gardeners go to buy me some dandelion seeds. The man behind the counter said, son, don't you know? You don't have to plant them. They grow like a weed. Wow! Dandelions, they don't have to be planted. Why does everyone take them for granted? Dandelions, they're as special as you and me. <laughs> So you wake up in the morning, you're feeling kind of low. Your get up and go is gone. You need some vitamins, some remedies, some tonic or some tea. Well, look out in your lawn. You got dandelions by the bunch or the bowlful. Eat them all up, they'll make you feel soulful. Dandelions, they're as special as you and me. <laughs> Dandelions, they're good for your liver. Eat them all up, they make you jump up and shiver. Dandelion, they'll make a long liver out of you. <laughs> Dandelions, blow those seeds and make wishes. For money, world peace, or lots of sweet kisses. Dandelions, they'll make your wishes come true. <laughs> Dandelion. This herbal hero, one of the most helpful and genuinely useful plants in the materia medica of the past, is now a despised longweed. We no longer need to depend on the roots and leaves of this humble plant to ward off sickness and death, so we have turned on the dandelion. Every garden supply house offers for sale a veritable arsenal of diggers, devices, and deadly poisons, all designed to help exterminate this useful and essentially beautiful little plant which has so immensely benefited the human race. In summary, what have we learned? Data suggests that we may be sexually assaulting our children in utero, possibly altering their sexual preferences or aborting them prematurely. Virtually no marketed pesticide formulation has ever been registered by the EPA. There are no data on formulations. There are no data from collective sensitive tests. Registrations do not include tests for neurological, endocrine, immune, developmental, or epigenetic, which is DNA methylation tests. Those are the on-off gene switches. And data for registrations come from the companies that make the chemicals a clear conflict of interest, which means we're using biased data to make our decisions about safety. So we have to ask, can we afford to raise generations of children that are neurologically, endocrinologically, immunologically, and reproductively impaired? Can we afford to induce chronic, long-term, subtle diseases and altered gene expression that may be passed to subsequent generations? These are questions we have to address. <laughs>